going to tell a joke? Uh, oh, no. Well, it's in my contract. <laughs> How does a nearsighted person watch mad movies? Give up like this. E I'm Ken Scove, and welcome to a special episode of Mad Movies with the L.A. Connection. Special because I'm here at the sound studio where our actors revoice old movies. In fact, they're in the studio right now preparing for tonight's episode. You see, each week we take a different motion picture, change all the dialogue, and turn it into a mad movie. It usually ends up something like this. If you find any loose change in the chair cushion, it's mine. All right. Thank you for recommending your hairdresser. I loved what she did with my curls. Want a light? I don't smoke. Mm. And now, the Doobie Brothers! Doobie, 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 But tonight, things are a little different. We're going to be showing you some of our favorite mad movie scenes, along with a few new surprises. Where are we going, Uncle? To see a lady who will help you because you're possessed, Lenore. How do you protect yourself in this dangerous job? Simple. I have bloomers reinforced with cast iron. I had a jock strap like that in high school, but it rusted in swim class. Be careful of Lenore. She has incredible powers. That coat used to be our gardener. I'll give it two dollars if it mows the lawn. Mm. I heard what you said, Uncle. You shouldn't have warned her about me. Now you must pay. Cut it off! Cut it off! Oh, I don't want to cut my foot off. This isn't any fun. Please don't make me do this anymore. Besides, this knife is too dull. Isn't there anything else I can do to satisfy your heathen bloodthirst? Yeah, get me a cheese danish and a cup of coffee. <laughs> you know, for a doll, you really stink. Nah. Phew, I gotta open a window in here. It is rain. Nah. Gee, you, yeah. Oh. Hey, Marin, hmm? what you been doing? Oh, not much. Just took a shower and washed my hair. Walk like a jerk across the floor. This will summon the demon Lenore. Kick your heels and lift your knees. Stay clear of soup that's made from peas. Look in the mirror and straighten your tie. If you do it too tight, you will die. Make a dance and then you yell. Evil spirits go back to Cleveland. Is it working? Is it working? I can feel it leaving. <laughs> Dog gun it, Bob. I'm afraid I've lost another job. Ow! Ow, you smashed my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, Bob. It's just that I get tension headaches whenever I wear an air filter around my neck. I wear lots of lace upon my shirt. So when I wipe my nose, it doesn't hurt. You think it's disgusting? But no one knows, because my sleeves are green. And it doesn't show. Green sleeves are my salvation. They've saved me from embarrassing situations. Green. I haven't finished singing yet, Bob. Oh, Wendell, speak to me in words of love. My heart's on fire. I have heartburn. <laughs> oh, jeez. I usually don't go out on blind dates, but... Cyrano said you were special. I wet my pants. Yeah, you need my pants. Stop. I feel a song coming on. The eensy beansy spider went up for water spout. I took a lift at the gas station and started to twist and shout. Well, I won. Congratulate me. Not yet, Ronnie. Why not? Uh, because she has to congratulate me first. Don't you, Nancy? Mm. 
No, uh, okay. Wait a minute, I thought I was the winner. Uh, I'm not gonna kiss you. <laughs> At least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says, touch your hat. Ooh. Very nice. Don't you think, Josephine? Mm. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Touch your hat. Uh-oh. What? They didn't say Simon says, so I guess we're out. Dag Nabbit, I was just following you. Oh. Now, we're going to have to turn in our hats. Oh. Excuse me, but did you have your hand stamp? Hand stamp? I have an idea. We washed our hands. Can't we get in in our good looks alone? No, oh, sir. In that case, you two will have a long wait. Tell me, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Everyone knows that. Gee, I, I thought I just made that up. Oh, heck. <laughs> this girl's interested in politics. I'm sure that there's some place you can find a fitter on your staff. Hello, Bubbles. <laughs> Do you have any, uh, experience? I'd like to get down and boogie with you. Me? <laughs> Hello, witch. Hmm. Monkey wing business kind of slow, huh? Yep. They're more of a Christmas item. I bet they make great little stocking stuffers. Say, uh, you mind if I sit? On your uh, mark? Huh? Little game I play. <laughs> Are you serious? Get sit. What? Oh! Gee, that was fun. Yep. Oh. Hey, is Clipper okay? Yeah, my high heel was just stuck oh. in his blowhole. Oh, hey, you've got green panties on. No, it's seaweed. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Camp Town ladies, sing this song. Oh, Duda. please. Duda. Camp Stop it, I hate that song. Oh, so do I. Why did you start singing because it? Because I go crazy whenever I have a trout in my trousers. <laughs> Why don't you use a pencil? A pencil? You mean this? No, no, this is a pencil. Hmm. Ingenious. It's sharp. And what's this? Paper. This is paper? Of course. It's so thin. How does it work? You write on it. With the pencil? Why, the people who invent these things just simply amaze me. He's a pirate dancer. He dances for money. Any old dollar will do. He's a pirate dancer. His dancing is funny, because he's only wearing one shoe. Arr, 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 arr. Teach me how to sing. Arr, your breath smells like a barrel of fish. Arr, 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 why you? Arr, arr. Stick of gum. Uh, boys, everybody loves somebody sometime. Do you think I look like Dean Martin? Listen, friends, uh, please excuse the appearance of the house. I still have to dust. There. Uh, here's that stool sample you ordered. Thanks. Go stand in the corner. All right. I'm here. Why don't you kiss me, Benny? Is it because of my breath? Is it because I'm a woman? Or is it something else? It's because of the kink in my neck. That did it. We hope you're enjoying this special episode of Mad Movies with the L.A. Connection. When you have a two-hour film and you have to cut it down to about 17 minutes or so, invariably you have to pass up a lot of great footage. I'm Bond, Ward Bond. Bond? Kitty. Is that a gun or are you just glad to see me? Oh. <laughs> What did you do to your head? I got a bad haircut. Oh, it can't be that bad. Let me see it. No, I'm not going to expose my head in public. Let's go in the ladies' room. Well. You were wonderful, Ward. I know. Thanks. Oh, great. She took my last cigarette. Now, what am I going to smoke? 
wonder if she'll think I'm strange if I smoke this piece of paper. What are you doing? Uh, I'm smoking this piece of paper. But you know, it's not quite the same if you don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> uh, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Should I? Oh, he Yes. Mm. Where's my troops? There's just a movie screen behind me. Get out, pooch! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. Hey, put your foot on my butt and make a wish. All right. Uh, uh, it didn't come true. Try again. Uh, didn't work. You're still here. <laughs> hey, bet you can't read my palm. Let's see. You lose, I'm part gypsy. See, uh, this line says you'll have lots of kids. See this line says you'll have lots of paternity suits. What kind of suits did you say? Paternity. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. We're going to have a telethon now to raise money to get me a new sandwich. Had a sandwich, jelly sandwich, I made it on rye. Had a sandwich, lost my sandwich, what a sad guy am I. I can't take much more of this. Mm. Ow! Oh, now we can make finger sandwiches. Here, cowboy dog, get a Sandwich, jelly oh, sandwich, and funny. a fresh rhubarb pie. I, I. I'm sorry I slammed the toilet seat on your head, but you deserved it, Lou. Dwayne? Huh? Never mind. Dwayne? Huh? Never mind. Uh, want a dish of water? I found your shorts in the car. Oh. Oh, the elastic is shot in these things. This party just isn't working out, Dwayne. Uh, this is no time to start whining. But it's my party and I'll whine if I want to whine I want to whine if I want to You would whine too if it happened to you, Dwayne Well, I got a great idea for an opera It's about seven people who go on a pleasure cruise and get caught in a storm <laughs> Then they get shipwrecked so far, so good. Let's see. The first mate was a mighty sailing man. There's a skipper. Brave and sure. They sailed one day. Mm-hmm. For a three-hour tour. There was a millionaire and his wife, a movie star, a professor, and Mary Tyler Moore. All on Gilligan's Isle? No. Island. That is so stupid. I don't think so. As a matter of fact, I was thinking that I could play the part of the skipper. What do you guys think, huh? Well, hmm? Huh? <laughs> hmm. Here are the runners up. They have at least D cups. That's how they got into the competition. Listen to them giggle. Watch the potters wiggle. It's kind of like the worms when you go fishing. Though their brains are tiny, take a good look at the hiney. We know what all you guys are out there wishing. Hey, we're making our wish come true. What is it, Cinderella? I'm in a hurry. It's our wedding day. Yeah, so what? Well, we're supposed to celebrate with a feast and gifts. Have a chew stick. <laughs> what happened? I thought I was wearing a hat. <laughs> you didn't finish your matzo balls. Uh, I don't like kosher day, Warden. The bagel was good, but I just picked at the locks. I want to complain to the chef. You can't. Oh? He died this morning. From what? Food poisoning. Huh? Uh, lesson number one. Uh, pucker up your lips and put them together and make a noise like the toilet's backing up. <laughs> oh, uh, that was good, but you'll have to watch the spit bubbles. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to apologize about my hat exploding earlier and blowing your hair off. No, I have to buy a toupee. Is there uh, someplace private I can undress? I'm kind of shy. Well, let's see. Uh, not here. Uh, how about here next to the water heater? Oh, okay, but uh, don't look. Oh, you just go ahead and get ready. And I'll just, um... Oh, let's see. I... Oh, it's all burnt and dirty. Hey, I told you not to look. <laughs> We've really tried to take advantage of the endless possibilities in making mad movies. We've turned dramas into musicals, thrillers into sitcoms, and murder mysteries into soap operas. Well, we thought it was a good time to try another possibility, so we combined several films into one very different mad movie. Here's the result. Hello, Vinny. I'm, uh... Having a party for Nazi Reagan, and you bring the balloons and the bean dip. Great. I like Nancy Reagan, and I'll play my bassoon with my clean lips. What? Baboon? Who's got a green slip? Just a minute. Hmm. Let's see. I'm to look in this spittoon for a tie clip. Turn left at the bar room. It's a short trip. <laughs> Bazooms. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> Hello. But you're acting like a buffoon. I think perhaps that you are losing your grip. <laughs> Nancy's running off with Bazoon? <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell Reagan because when he finds out, he's going to flip. I'm going to the moon on a ship. Let me resuscitate you. Kiss me. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, you missed. That's my pocket. <laughs> do you hear that strange noise when we kiss? Yes, Latrine. Why do you do that? I didn't do anything. I thought it was you. Well, tonight's been a different type of show for us, especially for our regular viewers. But one thing that hasn't changed is our whole movie. This week sent in by Lorraine Radella of Pico Rivera, California. And as usual, we edit it and add new dialogue. It's a story of a hot entertainment sensation, La Chica Ting Ting. She is fabulous, right, honey? What a dancer! Who's everybody so excited about? It's La Chica Ting Ting, the Latin Spitfire, whose one-woman show has critics raving. I'm a critic, and I'm raving. La Chica will dance her way into your heart. Whether she's doing her famous boogaloo or just visiting someone's kitchen, people stand up and take notice. We loved it. She never stopped dancing for one minute. I don't know how she does it. How does she do it? It, it isn't easy. She wakes up at 4 o'clock every morning, swims the English Channel backwards two times, then goes through her own batonicized fitness program. Love her. I love you, La Chica Ting Ting. Many evenings are spent in the company of her admiring fans. Is that her? I thought she was taller. Uh, she's an incredible dancer. <laughs> she's so graceful. La Chica Ting Ting has the entertainment world standing on its ear. Over 10 million American women are imitating her explosive style. Some people spend entire weeks waiting in line just to obtain a ticket. Endless energy. Ting Ting Mania is sweeping the nation with spontaneous celebrations that never seem to end. La Chica Ting Ting, the consummate performer. Well, that's our show. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We've had fun dubbing other actors' voices, but I'm sure they don't mind. After all, actors are some of the best sports around, if you know what I mean. Well, I gotta mix the rest of the show. We'll see you next time for more Mad Movies. I fell on my head while filming last week's episode, and ever since then, I've had absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I had a lump this big, but I sold it at a yard sale. Well, gotta get back to my Pac-Man game. I don't want to go to bed yet, Mom. Well, you can stay up later, but if you do, I'll go away and you'll never see me again. Oh, yeah? So it's up to you, dear. You can either have a mommy or stay up late and watch TV. Yep. Bye. 
Additional voices by April Winchell.